Oh, hello, I'm Maris. This is Gamer Quest. Welcome back. We're going to do some more first looks. Uh, we're going to take a look at a fun little game called Automo Chef or Automa Chef. It's, I'd say it has, it has like a touch of Factorio in it where you're building like a factory, but the trick is you're building a factory that automatedly cooks food. So, I think it's more of like a puzzle-ish type game where you're given a scenario and you have to figure it out. Should be fun. These these can be fun. I like, you know, the building and the manipulation. So, we're going to take a look at it, have a little fun with it. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do want to thank the developer for giving me a copy of the game to check out. I definitely appreciate it. Hermes. That's a cool uh, icon. I just want to point that out. Team 17. I believe this is the group that brought us Overcooked. Okay. Okay. Uh. Order type. Is there. Can we do a tutorial? Basic tutorial. Okay. We can do this. All right, three orders have to be fulfilled. Power usage has to be less than 500 watts. Use fewer than 50 ingredients. Hello there, fellow human being, but you're not a human. Thank you for responding to my advertisement, helping me in setting up my new restaurant chain. You're still not a human though. My plan is to use fully autonomous kitchens to cut costs and crush mankind. I mean, efficiently produce wholesome, tasty dishes. The kind humans like us love to digest. You're not human. Before we start on our first restaurant, we need to prove the concept. I've rented this test site for us to use. Follow my instructions, and let's make sure this business plan of mine is feasible. Okay. Easy enough. Make a plain burger. We'll start by placing an assembler machine that... Click on the assembler in the parts list, then place it. Use Q and E. Okay. Right click the assembler and select plain burger. Okay. Now click on the OK. Before we place any more machines, let's have a look at the recipe to see what we will need. Click on the recipes button to view the plain burger. Mmm, that burger looks good. My taste sensors, I mean taste buds, are going crazy. So the recipe says we need one burger bun and one raw patty, which we will need to cook. There are some machines we can use to dispense, cook, and transport the ingredients. Close the recipe tab by per pressing the close button. Select the dispenser in the parts list and place two of them at the locations I've marked. Now right click the top and configure burger bun. So I'm gonna say this raw patties, okay. So now we have got to get a source a source of raw patties. We will need a means to cook them. A grill will do the job. Select a grill and place it on the location I have marked. Great. Now let's get those ingredients moving. Parts list and place them in the location. What? Okay. Oh, this is a problem. Can I... Hmm. I didn't know this is the way it needed to go. I can't put any more conveyor belts down. 
Hmm. Yes, but you're not... There we go. Okay. Rails cannot directly feed into a griller assembly, so we need to use robotics to handle the transition. Click on the robotic arm. Robotic arm. And place them in the locations. This is right, right? Yeah. Yeah. We need to pick up the cooked patties from the grill and place them onto the assembler. Robotic arms will pick up anything, so they will pick up a raw patty as soon as it's placed in front of them. Instead, we need to use a robotic smart arm so that we can configure it to only pick up cooked patties. Okay. The robotic arm, smart, isn't as intelligent as us human beings, so it needs to be told exactly what ingredient. Right-click on it and then select the cooked patties. Ash pile cooked patty. Now we can make our small test run. Let's see how everything. Click the start button. I have a bad feeling about this. I th okay. All right, so far, so good. Okay. Congratulations, you helped me achieve the first step in my plan for global dominance. Next, we're going to look into making our machines more efficient. Okay. Oh, dear God. This is... This is a humongous tray. All right. Order reader tutorial. Okay. Five orders, 500 use. All right, so this is... Converting oxygen into car as we... Okay, it's time to learn about how to make our kitchen more efficient. Okay. Finish this kitchen layout. Currently, its layout is suited for plain burgers, but I needed to produce cheeseburgers. It's always a good idea to look at the recipe first to see what ingredients are needed so we know what machines to place. Click the recipe. Cheese, cheese slice. Cheese, which needs to be processed into a cheese slice. Okay which is the maximum it can support. We'll need to transport it to assembler on the same conveyor belt that the burger buns use. The robot arm that's currently picking up will pick up any ingredient. Click on the dispenser in the parts list. Okay. Right click the new dispenser. I want cheese. Okay. I need a food processor to turn the cheese into cheese slices. No additional setup. Okay. No, that's all right. All right. So now we're doing a cheeseburger. Pray for me. We got one. We got two. Oh no, I have to make five. Shoot. Why? Well, I mean, I'm going.
I mean, he's not giving me any feedback here. Am I... Are we doing good? How's the... My energy usage is going up pretty damn quick, though, I must say. This kitchen has a flaw. It will endlessly produce cheeseburgers. What a waste of ingredients, and more importantly, electricity. Misuse of electrons makes me feel sad and angry. Ingredients are constantly being dispensed, and the grill is always on, even if no one ordered a cheeseburger. That cannot be allowed. We can fix this by placing an order reader to ensure cheeseburgers are prepared only when an order comes through. So I select this. Okay. All right, we right click. Okay. It can control up to four machines. Left click on the cheese dispenser. Select do nothing to expand the control options and then perform one action. Hold on, select do nothing to control the Perform one action time on new order. Hold on. Okay. Left click the raw patty dispenser. Okay. Perform one action. Okay. I'm gonna say this is also gonna be one. Good God. Um. Okay. On the left, that's where customer orders were to simulate some customer simulate. Yep. Now here we go. Alright, so I guess the yellow means it's... Del oh, okay, there we go. So I think the yellow means it's on the conveyor to be delivered. I mean, so far I think I got it right. I mean, we're cooking the burgers for all of six seconds. That's going to be, like, super duper, like, still moo and rare, but that's the way a burger should be eaten. <laughs> Just walk the cow out to the table. Give me a fork. This should be our last one, I think. Yes. Okay. We vastly improved the efficiency of our kitchen. Okay. I think we're we're on we're on to our next first taste. Ten orders, less than five hundred watts, fewer than forty ingredients. We scale up quickly, openly news. Okay. Cheeseburger and plant after all. Okay. All right. So, 
Oh, let's see here. Mm. Okay. Ah, uh, da 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 da. All right, we need. Oh my God. You remember how to do this. All right, so we have dispenser and a dispenser. Mm, yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, okay, you can, you can just pick them up and move them. All right, so if we do this and we just do a burger bun, that's fine. Now, I need an electric grill. A robotic arm. Nope. Processor. Mm -hmm. This is going to screw up. I'm sure of it. Yeah, no. That's not going to work. Oh my god. This is so not, not as easy as I expected it to be. I'm sure we need a conveyor belt here. This bun one is fine. That's not going to be a problem. Mm. I think I can do this. All right, this is going to be cheese. Okay. No, I need an arm here. Nope, that won't work. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a cooked patty. Dispense a raw patty. Your burger buns, your cheese. Okay. All right. Let's just see here. Recipe to follow. Cheeseburger. Do I need two of these? <sighs> Dispenser. Okay. 
connect new part. Okay. Keep doing the wrong thing. Add new part. We have to. Okay. I don't think this is going to work. I really don't think this is going to work, but we're going to try. Oh, balls, I just... I just deleted my... My assembler. That was really... Not... Okay. Okay. I think everything's on. Oh, here we go. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to pause it. I, you know, this is, yeah, this is, hold on a minute. Recipe to follow. How about a cheeseburger? Let's do that. Just gonna speed it up a little bit. Something's not a. Uh... Yeah, something's not a. Uh... What in the hell did I screw up? All right. So we have the bun going to the conveyor belt to this arm getting put in the assembler. And then we have the cheese. So I don't know. I just did it again. I keep removing the assembler. That's not. Burger bun, raw patty cooked cheese. All right, burger bun. Do we need to make a separate? But it can only have two things. This is not as easy as it looks. All right, so where is the screw up?
I think I need to speed this up more. High speed! Why are you not getting... The food processor is chopping it up. Shoot. Okay. We can fix this. We can fix this. We have the technology. Hmm. How am I going to shift this around? to do left on that. All right. Let's see if this now works. Let me speed her up a little bit. Well, oh, that was not a, that was not super, super simple. All right, so next up, let us begin. Deliver five meals, five orders, less than 400, less than. The public was aesthetically indifferent. Yes, it had taste. Stop asking me questions. Leave me alone. I'm not keen on working tight spaces. Okay. Well, it turns out we can achieve a lot in here. We offer brand new... The BLT sandwich. Okay. So what exactly... All right, so we need a bread sliced tomato process... Lettuce. Bacon strip. So we need a grill, a processor, and another grill. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna put this here. Okay. Um. Let's look at this again. So we're doing four, four dispensers. Okay. Grill, processor, grill. And... Okay. Alright. 
Actually, these might need to be moved down one. I think we have to have conveyor belts in front of these. Now, I need an assembler. get this to work. Well, let's figure out our structure first. So this is bacon. This is bread. This is tomatoes. And this is going to be lettuce. All right, so we have our ingredients set. Now, the bacon... Oh, I don't know why I'm trying to shift. I ain't got room to shift. The bacon has to go on the electric grill and be grilled. So does the bread. So, can I... here. No, this has to be a smart arm, sorry. Mm -mm. Oh no, what am I doing? filter. This is going to be cooked bacon strips. Mmm. I need it to get, I need the conveyor belts to come down. Er, let me restart this. Okay. Right, let's get the assembler down. So, let's see. We need dispensers. These are going to stay the same. This is going to be, we'll start with the bread slice. So that's got to go onto a grill. And then be picked up by a smart arm. I'm just going to put that right there for right now. Okay, so we need another here. I need another grill here. Mm. Jesus, Lord, this is not easy. Hmm. Lettuce. 
All right, that was gonna be crispy bacon strips. So this smart arm is going to be the, oh no, this is gonna be crispy bacon strips, sorry. Anybody who's watching right now, just to warn you, we do have some incoming bad thunderstorms, so. All right. So this we said was gonna be the bacon strips, okay. This is going to be the tomatoes. This is lettuce. This is BLT. I, I hope this works. Here we go. No. Okay. This is gonna go left? No. It's gonna go that way. Alright. Here we go again. I mean, I, th I guess we're poking along good. Do I have, did I complete a BLT? Oh, it's, it's, okay. Oh. Hold on. Finished dishes on the right side. Try it again. I'll get it. Ooh, it's getting stormy out there. Oh, where'd my... Hold on, hold on, hold up, hold up. I just... There we go. I don't care that I exceeded my ingredient quota. I figured it out. Oh, sugar. All right. At least I figured that, that out. Obviously, there's a lot more uh, to this than that. You definitely have to micromanage. Probably need a, hold on. Let's just get an order reader here. Electric grill is gonna be on, okay. Electric grill, turn on. Mm 
perform two actions. Okay. We're gonna do the bacon to perform one action. And then we just need another order reader. And that's gonna connect to that, and that's just gonna perform one action. A new connection is gonna go there. All right. There's nothing to connect to. I'm over. It won't let me start with this. Hmm. How about we, while or on while order is pending? Okay, and robotic arm is on while order is pending. Do we not have enough electricity? I'm not quite. Why won't you let me go? Okay. Why are we not? Oh, okay. I'll just save. I want to start. Click on parts and oh, and hit enter. Okay. can't get it to start. I think it's because I went over the amount of money. Can I... Hmm. Nope. That is very odd. No orders to be fulfilled. I got it right, though. Doesn't want to work. Can I delete in this mode? No. Don't want to clone. All right, well, obviously we get the idea of this. It's quite a bit tougher than it looks, and I'm not quite sure why it's not letting me start. I can click it. I think it has to do with the fact that I went over the cost, but that happens. But let me get out of here. So we get the idea. This is quite cute. It's actually very cute. I wasn't sure if it was going to be more zone, like more out and like a little less like textured and a little more simpler, more more just like low poly type thing, but I'm pleasantly surprised. I mean, there's quite a bit of detail in all these. Very cute game. Let me get out of here real quick. Let's exit to main menu. They got scenario editors, campaigns, mods. They got quite a few different options to, to play that game. You can definitely tell that it's a puzzle game, though. There is there is a certain degree of um, toughness with that. And as you could see, you know, figuring it out, you can't go over a certain amount of money. You can't have, you know, use too much electricity. You can't go over a certain amount of ingredients. There's So there's definitely that strategizing 
in the game and having to figure out what the most efficient thing is. That's not bad, though. It's a fun, colorful. The music was very pleasant. Looks well put together, reacted well. I didn't have any issues with any of the controls or anything. So great job to the devs. Very cute game, very fun little game, especially if you like that style of game. If you're watching live, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back with another first look. If you're watching previously recorded on YouTube, do like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you soon. Bye.